this unboxing is a lovely package that I got from Chronicle Books, and they sent it to me, If Mia Were a City, written by Kyo McClear, illustrated by Francesca Santa. I'm sorry if I butchered it. And, you know, I love how they put the sticker, like a full-page sticker, on the package that kind of gives you a sense of what's inside. And a sparkly blue, you know, mailer. And so let's take a look at the book. So it has a, um, it has some things inside. So, uh, so why don't we start with that? I think this is like a poster. Let's see. If you were a city, how would you be? Oh, it's such a lovely, I think it could be an illustration from the book. Um, and then here's a sheet to design your own city. Um, so first you can make up your city and then you can draw it. Um, and then, oh, of course, if you have your own city, you have postcards. And you can write postcards and send them to people. So if you were a city, and that's an interesting way to think about it because... I think most kids don't think of, they pretend to be many things, but a city might not be one for sure. But let's see, if you, if you are a city, what, what exactly does that mean? So it says, this colorful picture book celebrates all kinds of cities. Um, and here's a city that reminds, I think that might be San Francisco. And that one might be Paris. I don't know what the other cities, what these are. With the minarets, that could be um, Turkey, maybe? Istanbul? Um, I don't know. I don't recognize all the cities. That could be um, Egypt or India? And let's see if the end papers are on the back. Oh, they made them into snow globes. You know, I, I love a good end paper. And this is a glorious one. Hats off to the illustrator, Francesca Santa. A very talented illustrator. I, I, I recognize it. So if you were a city, it's like, how would you be? Would you be bookish? That'd be Boston. Leaning? That'd be Pisa in Italy. Buzzing bright and magic seeming? So a rhyming picture book. A ghost city? A fable city, a lost city, a broken city. Oh, that's sad to be a broken city. But yeah, that happens in war, you know, like um, in Ukraine. A lost city, like that could be like Mayan or Inca. Okay, we're just going to skip around. Um, would you shout and swagger and no hands writing? Or secret shaded and story hiding. What a fun way to think about cities. And here you have like squares that bring people together. Um, and here you have like lots of things to do outside or roofs, rooftop, um, basketball. Would you thank your neighbors for all they share? Leave them room for nest and lair. So the neighbors would here are like the creatures that might live in your city. They could be on the edge of your city or there's a lot of animals that actually can survive, you know, even in, you know, like suburban areas or even urban areas. And so it's just kind of a way for kids to get out of what they normally think and think about cities and um, I guess appreciate urban areas, whether you live in an urban area or you visited one or you just want to learn about different cities. And then it might be fun even to match up cities with, you know, real photographs of places that maybe you might want to travel to one day. Um, and that's where all these goodies come in. Um, either for the well-traveled or for someone who just likes to armchair travel 
and might, you know, it might spark an interest of traveling in the future. So thank you to Chronicle Books for sending me this beautiful package. And thank you all for watching.